more exciting. Making these cards spin onto the screen. Bam! <laughs> but there they are. Pika Pals versus Tapioca. And if I was Tapioca, I would be scared. Yeah, I, I would be too. Uh, Pika Pals is a very, very strong competitor. I want to say, was it? No, it was Fola who had an unlucky streak last MT. Yeah, Fola went 0 2 pretty unexpectedly. I don't think anyone saw that coming. But uh, Pika Pals, very good. Uh, winner of uh, Speed Seasons Season 3. Double Seasons. I guess it'd just be Speed Seasons 3. So it's very, very versed in learning games quickly. Uh, so this should be should be a good match. Well, <laughs> at least from one party. We we don't know a lot <laughs> about tapioca. Maybe you never know. Very good, very good cards. We've got essentially Electric Squirrel version 3. Or is... I can't... Was Parachusa... I can't remember which Pokemon game that one's from. I want to say it's Diamond and Pearl. Which, which game is the right one from? <laughs> the, uh, the the penguin is the cool definitely penguin. From the cool <laughs> the cool penguin. Also known as like penguin. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm not sure uh, which which game the cool penguin is from. It could be. Uh, what's that game that shut down a few years ago? Club Penguin? Yeah, that one. But it doesn't. I, I know what they look like, and they don't look like that. They, yeah, no. Uh, different Club Penguin. It has the has the cool uh, snow goggles. They're almost like sun goggles. <laughs> sun goggles. <laughs> I mean, the, the the funny thing is, snow goggles also block the sun. That's like that point. It's just. They block the reflection of the sun, mostly. But yeah, first time competitor for Tapioca. Uh, we don't know how well they will do, but we will find out. How well did Pikapels do last MT? Because they, they took 7th in MT12. Pretty good. I'm more impressed they took 25th in their first MT, which was MTX. Oh yeah, that's because MTX was like the 300 yeah. person MT. But, so there's like different weights to this. Like I, the, There were barely 25 people in the first one at all. And I want to say like since MT7, they've kind of been hovering around like the 100 mark. Uh, well, Pals. obviously with the... Pika Pals went 1 2 last MT. Oh. So kind of bumped out. Not that extreme, but probably not what they were looking for. That is surprising. Yeah, sometimes you just. Because with the nature of the tournament, sometimes you just get a game that doesn't click with you. Yeah, and sometimes you get two. Well, theoretically, most people get at least two games that won't click with them. Because there can only be one winner, but... Who knows? Who knows what we're in store for? I 
think we have a game. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess we do, yeah. Let's check it out. What game do we have? Uh, so this is Overclocked. Uh, so, quote from uh, Mythical9. Uh, this was... His favorite game he tested for MT14. I played it in for MT14 against Sir Nico. Oh, it's this game. Yeah, I know this game. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember all the details. So it's. I don't want to say it's Mega Man-ish, but like Mega Man X-ish, where you're not getting power-ups from bosses, but like a lot of the platforming is this like dashy. Uh, I think the pace pin describes it as free anime battle celeste. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good description. It kind of is, yeah. It's it's celeste, and then every once in a while it turns into like a, you know, one of those. Brawlers like Hollow Knight or something. What, yeah, one of those like where you have to like you have to beat the enemies to move on. Yeah, it's the Kirby art. It's almost run and gun with like little battle yeah with battle royale sections. Yeah, and some of them are actually pretty tough because you got to, uh, we're gonna see. But from from what I remember, most people genuinely enjoyed playing this game. And you you've played it, Maurice. And I have played I... it. And I th I thought it was good. Uh, like I'm not sure if out of 100 plus games, like Mythical Nine says, I would think this is my favorite. But then again, I didn't test all that trash that doesn't make it into MT14. But I, it it was good. I mean, also by comparison, like if you're playing, like if you get 99 really bad games, and then you get something that is like you know genuinely good, it might yeah, turn out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Like, I, I don't, yeah, I, by comparison, we yeah, we don't get to see all the trash sometimes. And sometimes the trash is just bland. So it's just like okay. We got menu sounds. I hope you everyone enjoys this song that Pika Pulse is playing for us. Beautiful. But yeah, so what we're gonna see is the racers will have to quickly understand uh, like different types of movement, attacks, and like elements to the level. So like, how do platforms work? How does my double jump work? I think, yeah, there's a double jump. How do wall jumps work? How can I use these like attacks to quickly dispatch of enemies? Like things like that. It, it does make for a great race. Uh, I can agree that much. All right. And everybody in chat here is the prediction uh so you can predict see okay so predict with challenge points see challenge all points. right i i'm not wrong if you do look at it, it does say challenge points it says channel points i'm standing by what i just said <laughs> <laughs> what? i mean yeah like the channel points are called clues i think that's like the, the logical string I, and i think it's like i there's like a thing where like if you read a word, like most people only read like the first letter and the last letter of a word. Hmm. I mean, that's not going to work. Channel and challenge have different last letters. I I can like they have similar letters. I could agree. They with have very that. similar letters. They and do have very similar it, letters. The words even kind of sound the same. I can even agree with that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you're in chat. Throw some points down. Yeah, like, 
come on, 17,000 to 300. Like, big, big payout for tapioca. Yeah, I mean, 2% odds, I'll take that on anything. Doesn't matter what the bet is. Oh, let me, I can participate. I, I, I'm not the one managing this. Yeah, I, I'm the one who managed this one. I've got to, I, I can keep my channel points for now. I think we're almost ready. I think we're just waiting on... On tapioca. Just, just waiting said, on okay. tapioca? So I think we're... Yeah, we are very close to starting. Also, tapioca already has a save file. So they like tested controls. Yeah, 33 seconds of testing controls. It's fine. Completely legitimate. You never know with Steam games. I believe this is through Steam, right? This yeah. is a Steam game, yeah. Yeah, because you never know how Steam sometimes binds your controller, especially if you open it in big picture mode. But there we go. Uh, this is overclocked. As you can see, a lot of dashing with punching. That's where all the cool movement's going to come in. Oh, already the first Ooh. death. Picapalus avoids it by punching upwards. Again. Alright, this time Tapioca has it, but Pika Pulse is also just going. So, the thing of this game is we, we've ha we have these dashes, kind of like Celeste, and we have, I think we have wall jumps. And the thing is that every time you kill an enemy, they all die in one hit, you replenish your charge. So you can chain uh, dashes together. And if I remember correctly, we will see later on just like enemies are placed in a way where you have to just continuously dash into them to platform through very dangerous areas. Very, I mean, we already see it on Pika Pass. It's not so dangerous right now. He managed to die anyway, but I don't think it was too dangerous. But you do need to chain upwards dashes. Oh, you, you can see it on Tapioca right now. So he actually clears it, so he's actually ahead of Pika Pass at this point. Yeah, but so I'm, I'm, yeah, so I can see a lot of, like, we're going to see a lot of just, like, platforming sections that lead into combat sections. Yeah. It's, it's that typical, like, back and forth that this type of game does. And we're beating World 3. Which I think is three bosses. I mean, let me think. One, two, three... I think I remember three bosses, so it's probably one boss per world. And do you remember how many like stages are in each world? Mm -hmm. Around ten, maybe? That sounds about right. We'll go with that, because uh, we're still... I don't know if we're still in like tutorial land, or if this is like world one proper. Mythical Nine says third world has no boss. I, I mean, our race ended on the boss. Is it a different goal? Oh really? This is shortened? Oh, that's disappointing. Those last levels were the ones that were that I think are actually exciting. And right now, Tapioca does have a small lead. Looks like just a one little one stage lead for Tapioca. Yeah. We learned some attack tech, attack tech, uh, which is used to destroy these um, like switches on the wall. And it's just kind of a way to teach you, hey, here, here's the kind of attacks you can do. You can dash, you can punch, you can do like a... Uh, what we can do is kind of like a stab attack, which we have to use on enemies with a shield, otherwise we die.
Yeah, and it looks like a lot of these dashes are going to be very precise. Yeah, we saw on like, top Yoka, he, he missed a dash and died as a result. Right here. Yeah, again, there's there's nothing he can do at this point. He, he doesn't have his dash anymore. He can't get to ground to replenish it. Replenish it. So, just has to restart. And I guess, like, in these early stages, these aren't as punishing of deaths. But I'm assuming later on... Yeah, and Pika Pals is also having trouble uh, with that dash as well. What do you think about, like, uh, like practice? So, like, kind of doing something that you're not sure it will work? But if it does work, it will end up being faster in the future? Instead of doing something that you know work, works, is safe, and will make you clear the level. I think, like, when I'm doing a race, I'll try to do something, you know, like that maybe one or two times. If I can get the timing of it, like, I'll try to do it. But after, like, maybe the fourth or fifth attempt, it's like, I know I'm just wasting time. Because there's always, there's always a good time for experimentation with movement. This is a close race. Tapico is only like a tapioca. It's only like 15 seconds behind. Also, we saw on Pickup Out's screen, he, he did like the shockwave that was required to destroy one of those switches in the earlier levels. And it didn't actually kill the enemy. It just kind of stunned it. So that's also wasting time. So you really want to be dashing through pretty much everything, I think. Yeah, I don't know how many other more unique mechanics like that are we gonna come across outside of, like, that stun. Yeah, I think... Let me, let me double-check that pace bin. I think combat voice we're actually done. It's just, like, uh, stage elements, I would say. Like, different kinds of spikes and, uh, like, dash crystals. So, basically Celeste. Yeah, and another thing I noticed is that you don't have to immediately dash. You can hold it and then, like, change your direction. Oh, yeah, you can even cancel it. I think there's, like, a button for it. Uh, which... Oh, so you s if you cancel it, can you still do it? Or is, like... You can still do it, yeah. So y y I, I, maybe you just wait. Uh, and So you can float for, like, two seconds or something, and then you start falling. Yeah, here's one of those, like, as you said, like, the Kirby sections. Yeah. You're gonna beat all the enemies. Yeah, it seems easy. Like, these, these enemies are pretty non-threatening. But they're long, relatively. Like, relative to the race time. And if you fail it, that's a big time loss. It's essentially an auto-scroller. Yeah. I failed these a bunch. So, I know that it wastes like, a lot of time. Yeah, and the hard thing is because you're doing the same motion over and over again, which is prone to making mistakes the longer you try. So, like, the longer you do something again and again, the more likely you are to make a mistake. Oh, unfortunate death for Pika Pouts. It's kind of getting trapped in the corner, being unable to dash in time. And giving Pe uh, giving Tapioca some time to catch back up. Yeah, we're equal. Oh, Tapioca with the restart strats. I like that. Like the menu restart. Ooh, that was close. Uh, the thing about air stalling, it's super useful in some of the later levels in World 4, which we're unfortunately not going to see. <laughs> so unfortunately, that yeah. tech is not exactly useful right Yeah, I, I don't... I'm not sure if it's really that useful. I think it can be useful on the second bus. Which um, which we are gonna see, I hope. Yeah, must be. It's it's pretty early. It's probably at the end of World Two then. Oh, here's the first boss. It's a bank robber. This is a bank, I suppose. Or maybe it's like the future where everything is digital and this is just his house. It's it's all cryptocurrency yeah. in in one person's <laughs> house. Yeah, like he's... all all the future world's money is just localized into this one person's apartment. This house is a little bit weird. It's got these things. But yeah, you just uh, you just activate the switch that activates in the middle of the room. It removes one of the like locks on his little hideout down there. And 
once we do this three times, we're good to go. Punch the thing. Yeah. Yeah, essentially another auto scroller type boss where it's only vulnerable in the once like once it does its phase. Yeah. The game is pretty nice about like announcing where the death zones are. It does this about pretty much everything. Ooh, Pika Pals does take a death though, mistiming his kind, kind of punch. going the wrong direction there, right? Like went to the bottom right, started sliding, and then the invulnerability of the dash kind of wore off. But that's big, that's like 40 seconds or something. Yeah, Tapioca now on the boss. And we still got plenty of time in this race. Yeah, this is just uh, World 1, I think. Um, apparently the worlds are not bound to bosses, but I think this is basically a third of the race. Content-wise, not like the levels will get harder, obviously. Ooh, Tabioka mistimes a, a dash punch. Mm. Yeah, this this game does seem to have a bit of like a, I don't want to say trigger finger to it, especially with these dashes, because I feel like the dash movement is very satisfying, especially when you get to chain them. Yeah, the the levels will make use of that a lot. Also, I believe we have to kill all the enemies, which is why Pika Pals is going like back to kill these weird jumping toasters. They got little hats on. I think it's raining, so it's just like, you know, I don't want to get your toaster wet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that sounds dangerous. Oh no! Tapioca wall jumping and not dashing in time, getting hit by that drone. Oh, you don't want to touch the neon, Pika Pals. Yeah, neon is bad. No, it looks cool. Oh, does it without a dash in the middle there? Oh, that's not the way to go. That's definitely not the way. <laughs> I mean, oh, is, is, is Pico is gonna save it? Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was close. <laughs> what the hell? He, he, he did it like upwards too because he was so unsure whether he was gonna like get the enemy or not. Oh, Tapioca just dashing past both of them and then falling oh. back down to get his feet hurt. I also didn't realize you have a double jump. Yeah, you, For some reason, I just thought you had the single jump with the dash. You always have a double jump and you replenish your dash. Nice. Making pretty short yeah. work of that level. I'm, I'm very much enjoying this MT16 theme of past top eight games being in round one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this this was shortened and like le the world four levels were really the hardest. Even the boss was pretty long and took some getting used to. Oh, Tapioca just thinking he's safe moving a little to the left, but it's not quite enough. Yeah, and it's, it's time you don't want to give up, especially to an opponent like Pika Pals. Not that Tapioca knows where Pika Pals is, but like when you struggle on a, a boss or a section, like the thing in the back of your mind is like, is my opponent also struggling with this? And then you go, definitely not. <laughs> yeah, you're This definitely... is so easy. Why am I failing this? And it, that's the part that tilts you the most as well. When you're on this stupid section, like auto scrollers. And you just keep dying to something that's so preventable. You could have been done a few minutes ago. Alright, one more enemy perch. Alright, I think Tapioca's got Ooh. it. And in the middle. And All right, get him. There we go. Ooh, he, he did something. I, I'm really scared <laughs> that it can actually <laughs> kill you. <laughs> like he throws his crypto wallet at you. <laughs> 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 he throws this is a USB stick that all all the crypto is on. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. That's all that that all that data. But yeah, like Tapioca is now in like the second world, I assume. And but the thing is, Pikapods has just been destroying levels, as far as I saw. Yeah, and a lot of these levels don't seem like there's much. 
like wiggle room to like to bake up time. So, like I think they're all they all seem to be dispatch all the enemies. Yeah, it's mostly about getting to the finish, or these arena types. Moving really fast <laughs> here. I like that. Oh, did Tapioca miss an enemy? <laughs> uh, Tapioca did, but the enemy just decided to play nice and <laughs> took care of itself oh. for Tapioca. Oh. All that neon got to its head. Oh, oh that's close. Yeah, just, oh. just... Oh, no! Ah. Uh, Should've... Sh need to wait just one more cycle for like, that enemy. Yeah, either wait a bit or try to get it, like, diagonally instead, because you're not going to die diagonally. Yeah, I think World 3 has more dash, like... I remember there's one world that has like a bunch of like lightning, like platforms, platforms. or at least like l lightning hazards, like all around, and you have to dash. Oh yeah, with enemies yeah, yeah. in between them. So I think that's world three. I think that's world four actually. It was pretty late before the boss. Dang. Oh, we got our second boss. It's Riley, and Riley is like also cyber. She dashes all over the place but she, she she's nice she announces where she's gonna attack so it's not that difficult to dodge her and then at some point she's gonna get angry and just kind of turn the whole stage purple I think and then you can damage her yeah this dodge the phases we gotta be careful oh, speaker pals <laughs> okay I was wondering if Riley was going to attack Pika Pals up in the corner. Oh, this is the slowest attack in history. Oh, she she does it multiple times. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh, this, this charge up is like five seconds. All right, one more. Yeah, your basic three-phase boss fight. Yeah, Super Mario did it. This is you also know, where you get the most nervous, because if you die now, like, that's a one minute time loss. Wow, Peak Bell's making this look easy. Yep. Gets the clear. Riley exploded. What's oh, this one? Right. This is, I like this stage, uh, this, this world. We're gonna see this a lot, so we, we got these spikes on the walls, and every time we jump, including double jumps, they're going to switch. Yeah, so this is another uh, Mario mechanic. Like the flipping platforms. Oh yeah. So, right, right there we gotta like double jump in the middle to make those spikes go away from the left side. Ooh, Tapioca. I don't know if that was the best move. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was... <laughs> I don't know why Pika did it so closely. Oh. Tapioca's got a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, it's like five levels, probably. Oh yeah, I remember this arena. Like five levels between. But I can I can see that this world that Pika Pals is on has the potential. Especially if you mistime the jumps. Yeah. There's also these these wall jumps where you're on the spike, and it's like it, it really trips up your brain because you have to actually wall jump, and which makes the spikes come out. But you have to kind of hold left at the start just to get away from the wall fast enough. Pika Pals, you cannot wall jump off of Neon. Oh, he does it another way, but he he will need to learn the fact that you can wall jump off tracked spikes either way. I don't think dashing 
changes the spikes, so, so Pika Pulse could have just gone in there. Yeah, I like this. And Tapioca takes another death by just mistiming the the distance of their dash. Oh, so he dashed into a purple? Dash dashed into an enemy right when like that purple thing was up. Uh. And it just just enough. It's like Th those are the worst deaths for your like mental state. The the ones that you feel were so avoidable. Because, like you said earlier, you always think, oh, I died here. Is this something my opponent could have died on? And if it's something like that, you go, no way. Of course he didn't. Yeah, one mistake, shame on you. Two mistakes. Mistakes? <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I don't know where I'm going with this joke. I, I, I know <laughs> what you're trying to kind of get at. Yeah, two mistakes. Two milkshakes. Two milkshakes. Share with a friend. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's he's a pop quiz. Do the spikes change if you drop through a platform? The answer is no. But here's those shield enemies. They're annoying. You gotta stab them and then you can dash through them. If you try to dash through them, you just die. That's very rude. Because you, like you see an enemy, you react by just dashing like you've been doing for the past two worlds. Nope, you're dead. I feel like I don't know why Pika Pulse isn't dashing more on these things. And yeah, now he is. Because dashing is free, it doesn't change the spikes. Yeah, I think Pika Pulse was trying to do more dashing than actual double jumping. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah, this is. There's Neon there. You gotta use the second jump to get through those spikes, like that. Oh, this one's tough. Nice. Once more. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I feel like your hitbox is not as big as you think it is. Yeah, it's pretty generous. Uh, tapioca is on Riley. Like, you try to hit her, it doesn't really work, yeah. and you, you start to assume that it's not like you're just supposed to wait or whatever, and then you Ooh. remember the bank robber who was just holed up in his stupid cell down there. So <laughs> you, you can kind of figure out oh, it's every boss is going to be like that, and at least until the MT14 goal, every boss is going to be like that. Yeah, I think Tapioca took that first death, and I was like, "All right, this is just another waiting, waiting game. Find the safe areas." Yeah. Dodging Riley isn't really that hard. You just have to be kind of attentive. Yeah, especially with how telegraphed her attacks are. Yeah. Which is nice. I don't like games that you have to like play multiple times just to learn the patterns. Yeah, reaction is better than memorization. Hmm. Right, we got this elevator here. Yeah, I, I don't doubt that Tapioca is probably going to get this. Uh, but Pika Pals has been killing it through World 3. Yeah, like, Pika Pals is unstoppable, pretty much. <clears throat> well, except by this level. This level is pretty long, actually. You gotta, like, precisely wall jump up these spikes, then make it through this weird gap. And there it is, Tapioca does beat Riley and is now working on World 3. I'm Probably cool. about, I don't know, five, six stages behind still. Hmm. My pick up is on this elevator. The trick that I also didn't do in my match, but, like, what you can just dash upwards. It doesn't change the, the spikes. This is what I Oh, did. yeah, you, 
Yeah, you definitely. Yeah, I feel like dashing upwards would probably be the safer way to do that. Yeah, you you don't consider it. You see this puzzle, and you 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 like work work out in your head what does the puzzle designer want me to do, <laughs> and just like skip ignoring the puzzle pretty much. Just dashing upwards is not <laughs> something you consider. It's the it's the classic uh, Baba is you puzzle where it's like it encases you in that in that area, but there is no rule that says you. That the walls are stopped. Oh yeah, stop. and, and, and you don't notice because why would you run into the walls? <laughs> it's it's using yeah it's using the the game knowledge that you've accumulated against you. But Tabby is making quick work, just like Pika Pals with some of these levels. This one's a bit tough. I, I had a bit of uh, problems with this. Oh, I'm yeah, because I'm guessing at some point those spikes are going to turn on. Uh, well, when you jump, they do. So you kind of have to avoid jumping, but like sometimes you dash off a platform or something where you want to dodge an enemy, enemy, so you kind of jump uh, like subconsciously, and then you got to react in time because suddenly everything is death. Yeah, and I guess with the with the neon sides, oh well, doesn't really matter. Uh, but that's it, isn't it? Is that the goal? Yeah, full, yep, full zero. And that's it. It's done. Yeah, I wasn't sure if there's going to be like a quick little cutscene, but Pikachu does take it with a twenty-five thirty-two. Good time. Yeah, and nothing against Tapioca. Tapioca is actually playing really yeah, well. Yeah, like, would have beaten more than half of the other competitors, I think, with this. It's just, it's just a shame that Tapioca got matched round one against Pika Pals. So we got this funky, like, outrun music <laughs> suddenly. Oh yeah, the World 4 introduces these uh, enemies that are just floating about and it's obviously just for your, like, replenishing your dash. But they also do that spike thing. Oh, you got a double jump first? Oh, okay, that works. Oh yeah, because, like, they, they shoot out the... See, yeah, this is the world I remember the most uh, from MT14. I, I think it's a good world because... It's a lot about like reactions and quickly like sight reading levels, which I think is a very good skill to test in these matches. Dash, jump, dash. Oh yeah, here's these uh, boosters. They make you go fast if you dash through them. Or you can just ignore them, I guess. One, two. And on tapioca at that part where you gotta double jump through. Barely clips a spike. Just to remind everyone, we do have a second match, Kirk Q versus uh, Alidian. And we are going to see that. They just started like the process. <coughs> so we're gonna stay with this match a little while. See if Tapioca manages to finish in like five to ten minutes probably. And then we're gonna switch over. Ah. Oh. Oh, and this is the hard level too.
And I want to say Tapioca has one or two more before the the battle room. I think this might be the last one. Yeah, I wasn't sure if there was one more after this. Actually, they have audio. Let's see if there's... Okay, Myth is two more than the battle room. Okay. More whole levels? Really? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna see. Okay, so tapioca also engaging with the 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 non-puzzle puzzle. I mean, this works. A bit risky. <laughs> it might be just like a lot of people separate the dash, don't separate the dash from the jump. Hmm. So like you don't think of just dashing on the ground upwards. These stairs are just annoying. Oh, I still have your dash. You need that. Dash up. Dash. Nice. I don't get baited. Nice. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, didn't jump in time. Yeah, that's a pretty mean jump. Barely have any room for that double jump. You mean on uh, Pika Pal's screen? Uh, no, on, on Tapioca. On Tapioca's? Okay. Yeah, there was like, a, you drop through the platform, you have to be on the spot. Oh, that one. Spike. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a floor that comes up. Or it's already up. But yeah, this, this level that Pika Pal's is on, the, I think it took me a little while too. Because you have to react to which state these things are in. Sometimes you have to jump. Just to be on the right cycle. Alright, here we go again. Oh, oh that was so close! <laughs> oh god. Oh, yeah. oh no! Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look like your head actually is your part of your hitbox. Your battle suit. I don't even think part of your feet are either. That just might just be like the square yeah, of the battle suit. So Pika Pulse right now is on a stage where you kind of have to fly around a lot. And you're like, oh, this this looks hard. And then they do the exact same thing, but harder. <laughs> oh, also, I think if you dash through those acceleration crystal things, you also get your yeah. dash back. So that's like, you can always kind of just dash through the middle, and you know that you're safe. Yeah, always time it so that you have one of those dash crystals in your attack. Yeah. So you, you can kind of just dash left and right diagonally all the time. Alright, all right, I'm pulling for you, Tapioca. You got it this time. I feel like this is your but, fault. But that probably is. <laughs> <laughs> Commentator curse strikes I mean, again. It's such a bad section too. It's it's kind of arbitrary whether you make it or not. It's just like this timing thing. Ah, too early. I wonder if if, if uh, like jumping out of a fall jumps less than out of a wall jump. Yeah, it's it's the issue with, like, I'm assuming that this game has, like, sensitive uh, jumps, so depending on how hard you tap the jump button.
Oh, I, I saw Tapioca stop there for a moment to think <laughs> while they were up there. It's like, if I jump, it's going to cause the spikes. All right, come on. Up. And there we go. Up. Nice. There we go. And we're on the arena. And we <laughs> <laughs> We're immediately dead. I mean, that's actually not that terrible, now you know. It's, yeah, it's better to to get that knowledge within the first second. <laughs> within the first, first 0 0.1 seconds. Oh, the ceiling is, is death too. Do not dash up. I think diagonal is fine, though. I think this is what I did. I was jumped, dashed left or right, and then jumped again just to, like, save. Always reset to ah, the base. Fell off the stage, then every everything was kind of off cycle, and then you're just kind of overwhelmed with what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, double jump. Nice. Ah. I was spawned right on top of him. It, it did announce it, so it doesn't feel unfair, but it sucks because. Tapioca just happened to go there at that time. Ah, too far. Oof. No! <laughs> I saw that coming, I was like, oh dash upwards, but then it's I was like, wait, no, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, at this point, like, you've been playing the game for, like, 30 minutes, you you definitely have a grasp of the controls, and then it throws this tiny arena at you, where it's like, you want to just dash at them any way you can, yeah. and you get punished for it. Yeah, the thing is, if you don't take care of enemies quickly enough, they, they move around, they... When, when you see those lines appear on you, I think it means they're targeting you, so after three seconds or whatever, they're gonna shoot you. So you do want to kill them as fast as possible, and the way to kill them as fast as possible so far has been dashing up or diagonally at them. Suddenly you're no longer allowed to do it upwards. I, I think diagonally may work. Oh, he was so scared there. He immediately <laughs> dashed up. Oh, again! Oh no! Uh. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, as a almost tutorial sense, like it's teaching you, like sometimes you cannot do up and down, especially because the next world you need to do the diagonals. <clears throat> yeah, the, the next world really ramps up the dashing accuracy. Like this one was about wall jumping and avoiding the spikes. The next one, as we can see on Pika Pal screen right now, it, it's very much about just dashing accuracy. Okay, Tapioca has gone with the strategy of just like jump as minimally as possible. Clear. And and their their Tapioca gets it. Oh, oops. Close to panel. Oh no, I can't done. Thirty-seven seventeen uh, SRL time. Uh, not a bad time. This is a very, very good time. Yeah, I think so too. Should check to see if uh, Pika Pals or Tapioca would like to come in for an interview. Yeah, sure. We got like five to ten minutes. Yeah, because uh, we do have another match coming up. I think Maurice mentioned that. Uh, Kirk Q versus Palladium. 